relativity. If you are not in immortal, then also it is impor it's important as the lack of, of willpower. You have zero freedom if you don't exist. Real relativity, you've got to exist and your freedom is affected. In one way you have new freedom because of miracles, but in another way your freedom is partly re restricted. Will relativity, key. It is divine, it is a divine universe or a natural one. Miracles are free acts. Uh, will relativity, critique of Kant, proof that there is freedom. There must be freedom, since otherwise acts in the world will, will, will originate in, at infinity. But an infinite series cannot be completed, so a free act must start the series. Accept this, accept this thesis of antimony 3, but reject the antithesis, uh, which is determinism. Since the law of causality can be broken at least in inner sense, if not in outer sense in the pneumonal world, our inner sense is pneumona, not phenomena or appearance. Since, as Maimonides says, God is the intellect, the object thought about, and the subject in the thinking, so too are we. Look, so this is page 37. This is about 50 pages here. You know. And we must have direct knowledge of ourselves, unlike our knowledge of the world or God. And our intellect inc included will for Aristotel Aristotelians, even if they, re they really they deny freedom. <coughs> will relativity, consider choice object in, this sci in science. Will relativity, technology greatly enhances our will, e.g. computers and television and weapons and shields. But this is part of Roddenberry's imagination relativity. <coughs> there seems to be some overlap. Is that better even question mark? But we, we can just give summary of summary in one section, e.g. technology it, in, in, in will chapter, <coughs> and a summary in imagination chapter of Rod Roddenberry. <coughs> well, another place to see uh, technology, for example, is Iron Man, who, who built a special suit, and he can fly, and the weapons, and shields, and all that. A will relativity, a key part of willpower is super guide. Since it allows you to make correct choices if it is a true guide, we need a list of uh, what the purposes of life or what the chief goal is. The latter is paradise, and we need to know how to get there. Unfortunately, we can't use Maimonides' super guide anymore, the guide of the perplexed, not the way it is anyway. It was written 800 years ago before advanced mathematics, science, technology, and multimedia art. We need to use a super guide like our Xanadu Zan system, uh, give summary guide. <coughs> Will relativity, it is axioms question mark. So divide the guide of Maimonides into two chapters, logic and axioms. His guide is the best super guide so far, so praise and criticize it and add new logical methods, question mark. Will relativity. <coughs> Kant thinks taking categories in empirical sense causes that the antimonies, applying them to subjects, including to ourselves, SFD fallacy. So need pure categories to avoid this conflict of reason. Hence, freedom can only be beyond the world. The world, soul, and God are beyond experience if Kant applied the empirical categories and pure intuition. Freedom is the pure category of causality, proof freedom, and a refute objection. Anyway, refute the antimonies which prevent applying the empirical categories to Nimona, so they must use pure categories, refute the, his principles of understanding on causality question mark. So we accept thesis proof and reject the antithesis proof, so we'll solve prob freedom problem, super problem of Kant in two ways. First, need freedom since we else have infinite series. Second, only in Numona can be free, yet we are phenomena. No, we are identical with our intellect and will, so we can be free. He argues this is fallacy in paralogisms of the dialectic of pure reason, equating ground or universal with the subject. Phenomena cannot break the law of causality. Okay, again, remember this is written eight years ago, so I have to, I'll have to think about it. This, hopefully I made a lot of progress in the last eight years. Well,
obviously I added a lot, but just the question, you know, for sure I made a lot of progress, but how, how good is this? Eight years ago, my goodness. What if, what if I didn't write anything the like last eight years? But this, what about this? Just this article alone, 50 pages. Is it enough for uh, new Ari Einsteinianism or post Einsteinianism or a new theory of physics? <coughs> or a new, or new school of philosophy? <coughs> The meaning of relativity of Einstein is really uh, like only 144 pages long. And uh, tractat Tractatus of, of Wittgenstein is a very small book, although he later rejected it completely. He, and he has the Philosophical Investigations, which is also a pretty small book, maybe 200 pages. Uh, but he writes in concise form. Okay. Um, well, this this also has a lot, and uh, this is also a concise form. Also, I mean, it has a lot of prerequisites. I think also as well. I'm not sure, but I think in in the Tractatus, I think Wittgenstein mostly just mentions uh, Frege and Russell, maybe. Here maybe I mention Einstein and Kant mostly, but and Aristotle, but they really uh, they include a lot of thinkers. Really, mm, no, but other places uh, I talk about it's uh, over a thousand great thinkers. I think let alone the proofs of God alone. Will relativity. See our discussion of Kant's philosophy regarding free will. Also, a refutation of Aristotle's arguments for determinism. Okay, page 38. Beaton notes, 2008, Einstein. Eight years ago, it's now 10.20 p.m., September 24, 2016. Intellectual relativity. Super-intellectual relativity. Add this. It is concerned with methods to note indirectly supersensible beings by logical mathematics, the transcendental universe. The intellect is for methods to know this physical world or sensible world in natural space-time. So the superintellect is for proving the existence of God or other beings beyond humanity today or the future of humanity. What humanity will become, whether in this world or the next and the nature of the next world and the nature of these beings. <coughs> We have over 200 ways to show the existence of such things and their nature. Again, or maybe up to a thousand uh, ways now. Fix it. To slide beyond the w this world, i.e. get off the ground. Uh, Newton really just took us to the cosmos. Or even Copernicus, Galileo and that. And they, show, and they showed really that this planet is part of the cosmos. But we live in the cosmos. Uh, but if we actually be able to to get to know God or the angels, or to bring God and the angels to this world, and that that's really even a bigger bigger accomplishment, um, because we go go into the transcendental world, leaving this physical universe. <coughs> Revolution, super intellect. Each person sees the transcendental universe, including God, from his level, and each person can use only certain axioms and methods to do this. So an observer of, observer's view of God is relative, God being too complex even for grandmasters. But Maimonides says that proving that God is not what well, proving what God is not increases closeness to God. Maimonides' super method can get closer in abstract distance to God by each thing that you prove as a lot by logical demonstration that is incompatible with God's nature. Uh, well, see my mind, this guy, that's the, but his whole guide really is the way to know, to get too closer to God, to know God by proving his nature as far as possible. And now, uh, I just, uh, last weekend I found that her Searle's method is similar to no objects of the world, just eliminate uh, what 
doesn't belong to them essentially. Well, Maimonides also made a distinction between essential and accidental attributes or qualities of objects. Intellectual relativity principles dis dis distinguishing ideal reasoning. Number one, when the system has been established on the path of a science. Number two, when it has endured a, a very long time. Number three, when great masses have accepted it. Number four, many con contradictions are resolved by it, by it not by, not by other systems. Number five, prophet, a messenger from God, tells you that it's perfect. Number six, if it is a complex and steals a complex subject. Number seven, accomplishments of the master of the great system. Number eight, high standards of proof. Number nine, if it refutes opinion, opinions inconsistent with the system. Number ten, if a major change in ideas is brought by it. Number 11, its limitations are realized by the master. Number 12, the system is complete. Number 13, it must conclude, it must include the noblest object in the discussion, namely God. Number 14, if it is not wholly esoteric, since then many interpretations arise and people disagree about it. Number 15, it makes use of many sciences. Number 16, there is remarkable order in the system. Number 17, masters master should be gifted intellectually and imaginatively. Number 18, master is not preoccupied with the senses only. Number 19, the master mentions several other masters in the field. Number 20, the book should make predictions which can be confirmed. Uh, Einstein said that that's true, that's true science, that you're, you're able to, to pr predict things about the world. Uh, uh, Einstein said that even science lets you know things you know, that happened in the past. I think I think in one episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation, there was a scientist, and she said that she can predict something about the formation of a star that will happen in a few million years, based on her model, which is that's pretty impressive anyway. A few million years. Page thirty-nine. Number 21, in the end, everyone who studied it, studies it accepts it. Number 22, any arbitrary part of the book should be of high quality. Number 23, the book should be independent of other books, but it can refer to them for details. Okay, so 23 principles of uh, to judge uh, the quality of a book or scripture or something. Leave Einstein's theory of physics or perceptual psychology. He inspired here a relativity theory for relativistic theory for computers brain biology psychology and theology are you thinking but he left many unsolved problems <coughs> the Kant's logic the pure intuitions of space and time 12 categories in four classes quantity quality relation mode um, the method of thinking is the syllogism gives three faculties understanding which thinks the rule or major premise, judging which makes a judgment a minor premise, reasoning which makes the syllogistic, syllogistic inherence from these, inference from these. Principles of understanding. Number one, axioms of intuition, intuitions of extension. Number two, anticipation of perception. In all appearances, the object of sensation has intensive magnitude. Number three, analogies of experience. It is possible because connections are necessary. A. I is possible because connections are necessary. A. Substance is permanent despite change in appearance. Change to be change ch changes take place in time according to the law of causality. C. Principle of coexistence in space. Number four. Postulates of empirical thought. Possible when it agrees with intuition and concept. Real when it agrees with sensation. C. Exist necessarily when it is, connect it is connected with the real according to a universal condition. Ideas of reason are the soul, world, God. Should you add other people? Question mark. Regulative principles of reason: one, completeness; two, hierarchy; three, consistency; four, unity, manifoldness, and affinity. Operations and or implication, not biconditional. I don't know. I don't know if Aristotle had biconditional in his logic. I think that's Frege added that. Math. See math section. Numbers, variables, vectors, matrices, formulas, equations, super equations, operations, plus, minus, divide, multiply, derivative, integral, e equals, repeat. Uh, also, maybe should add also branch. In algorithms, you have branch. Conditional branch. 
wings and even parallel synchronization like um, semaphores, monitors and or you can even have coral genes and all that. Well in computer design you also have pipelining to for parallel. And you have networks, you need client server model. You can have also like a cluster computer which networks a bunch of cheap computers into a, a multi million dollar supercomputer or maybe forty thousand dollars by using the right software. It was done at NASA a few years ago. Intellectual reality, the degrees of intellect, it depends what field also. Okay, page 40. I don't know if I'm going to have time, so it's about half an hour, man. Ten pages, okay. Uh, this is intellectual relativity. Degrees of intellect, okay. Number one, teenager, babysitter. Number two, nursing assistant. <coughs> Number three, nurse, nursery teacher. No, no, sorry. Number two, nursery assistant. Number three, nursery teacher. Number four, kindergarten assistant. Number five, kindergarten teacher. Number six, elementary school teacher. <coughs> Number seven, high school teacher. Number eight, vocational school teacher. Number nine, sage of teacher. Number okay, Quebec. Grade 12 and 13. Number 10, university teacher. University professor. Number 11, technical journal writer. Number 12, textbook writer. Number 13, major prize winner. Number 14, world class prize winner. Number 15, genius. Number 16, super genius. Number 17, grandmaster. Number 18, god. <coughs> Intellectual relativity, yes, we have 13 pages collected already of titles and collecting more. Can't leave it like that, yes, but really pages and lines are empty. Try to co collect them into categories and create paragraphs using groups of 10 or more titles each. Intellectual relativity. Wait, my money's guide covers the intellectual's actions, principles proven, and some method. <coughs> affects emotions of love. Love for God also is also part of emotional relativity question mark. Intellectual relativity. I have my mind is methods of logic but also because they illustrate key principles of thinking which he approved. With key principles of principle key principles of thinking which he proved. Intellect intellectual relativity. I had difficulties on my maladies but fix the discussion of them, critique and defense of my maladies. They form a list of principles of intellect about 162 problems in our list so far. <coughs> I think it's more like uh, now, more like over 500 or 600 problems of Maimonides now. Or we are, well, we added to them. <coughs> Intellectual relativity. Find details of super method of Maimonides. Leave out 75 or so methods. Basically, his method found a way to bridge the gap between the Aristotelian philosophy and the Mosaic system by interpreting the name of God in the Torah, Ayer as the necessary system, and then using the Aristotelian system powerful analysis of being to explore religious concepts and compare with the Torah's discussion of them. Also interpreting face to face regarding Moses' prophecy as meaning that there was no imagination in his prophecy, and so everything he said is literal, not allegorical. But also, I think he used also the Abraham's uh, idea of God as being the mover of the heavens. Ezekiel's idea of God being a captain, and in Genesis, Adam, uh, where, where God is like the creator. Um, if you use Aristotle's philosophy, the, the, all of these are different ideas, really. When we really are supposed to be the same God. Intellectual relativity, wait, question mark, is it? Is it methods question mark? Needs will relativity question mark. Intellectual relativity. A great leader must know all the methods of reasoning. He must also know all the major axioms of reasoning, so we must list them. Grandmasters were great leaders creating masterpieces, relying on the works of millions of people. So study how these grandmasters worked also. People may fall into several cla of these classes of higher reasoning. See the list of 50 or more super methods. 
such as syllogistic reasoning. Well, now I think I have over 300 uh, super methods in the list. See how discussion of my mind is rational religion, which is understood oh, way differently by different people. <coughs> Page 41, Beaton notes, uh, 2008. Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is just, it's good to call it Einstein notes. It goes beyond that in a way. Okay, uh, definition. God is the invariant of intellectual relativity and sensory relativity theory. <coughs> so you cannot escape God from your own mind, but there are also at least 400 ways to try to show that God exists, or a thousand ways. So it might be possible to add him into the equations regarding events in the world. <coughs> intellectual relativity difficulties with the theory of invariance. Some people have different axioms or methods, a true or false one. So I have different truths for, from other people, so not invariant. Some people can't understand certain things which are beyond their limits. <coughs> or maybe they can understand it, but they don't make the effort. Or they, there's a few, my mother says that a lot of people don't have patience for prerequisites. You know, like logic and he said logic and mathematics are prerequisites for metaphysics. And also that uh, there's also emotional factors too. It depends on your age also. It depends how busy you are. You know, people also want to have a good time. And they have responsibilities. And, and you need time. You're going to need time to do this. Intellectual relativity theory. This is a theory of perception for inner sense in Kantian terminology. Consider the following source of error. Sometimes people have not changed in nature. It is only you that has changed in your knowledge and understanding of them. So you perceive them differently with your intellect than before. You have moved from one coordinate system of inner sense to another coordinate system of inner sense relative to people. Generally, we define every level of understanding of the world in a different coordinate system. Your intellect can move up and down these CS freely, freely depending on your limits or innate abilities and training. Person will accelerate or climb or descend, change coordinate system or turn along a curve if a force is applied. Consider concepts as a multi-level structure going more and more complex or in-depth abstract as you go up and more and more inclusive universal as you go within a level. We constantly move from level to level in our mind but seem it seems we need more effort to change levels or accelerate them to move inside same level and same velocity. We can apply attention which refers to a force and force of concept depends on depth or complexity or abstractness and universality of the math. The equation is given by f is equal to ka, where k is equal to attention, <coughs> and, sorry, where f is equal to attention, k depends on person's qualities, and a is equal to change in level you go from on a tangent. So, can define motion as change of universality or with, with respect to time, and define acceleration as change of complexity with respect to time. You go off on a tangent, so you, it is still possible to use mathematical calculus and beyond. And the new law of inertia is you tend to stay at the same level of complexity, constant speed, no acceleration, unless the force is applied, that is, attention. You can change speed and direction, acceleration in your mind relative to yourself, but you can also change these relative to other people or machines, whether in sensations or concepts. SR or GR relates the former quantities when both people observe the same object, axiom. <coughs> but the concept by itself is nothing, so it is necessary to speak of arguments or plans. That is logical or mathematical algorithmic constructs since they are intellectual objects, for they really exist in the mind because of arguments that they include. Intellectual relativity axiom. So when two observers hear or see an argument object, each from a different coordinate system, they don't see it in the same way. In a sense of perceptual relativity, Einstein related space, time, energy, motion, acceleration, etc. What should we do here? Question mark. 
In this case, the argument object may be in one CS of complexity and one observer in one CS below it and one observer in one CS above it. Assumption. Critique of SRGR also, we assume that both observers can understand the argument object. Like Einstein assumes both observers have the equivalent of good eye vision in, this, in his theory. I mean, one of them might need eyeglasses, really. Prescription. Here, one observer must go up in concept co complexity scale and one observer must come down in complexity of thought. So both observers accelerate, one positive and one negative. Anyway, one observer sees the argument as hard while the other sees the argument as easy. So one observer must exercise more effort, attention to understand it than the other. So the object argument is a relative object. Key. So the question is how can one observer see the argument object from one perspective of the other observer? Of course, an other observer can be in the same CS as argument object. Best effort for him, i.e. no acceleration. So specialty for him, the distinguishing factor of CS is that each CS has a different set of facts and methods of reasoning. Facts are where you are, which is the starting point. Uh, methods allow you to move to the other places. <coughs> That's it. In order to see how another obser observer sees the argument object, you must restrict yourself to the world view level they have and you'll see how they see it. But you may need to acquire facts and methods first. Uh, I, think that I think they said there are three founders of, so of sociology, Marx, Durkheim, and Weber. I think, uh, Weber or Durkheim, I think, said that if you really want to understand somebody, you have to be able to know their world view. You have to put yourself in their place. You know, the, and well, I don't know if some also for therapy. You just have to put yourself in their view. And if they're sick, to bring them out to to a healthy point of view. A key. You can give a super formula for how any observer will see the argument object. Like Einstein did in theory of relativity, physical object question mark. You know that some people will see the argument object as strong, while others will see it as weak in logical existence. So one gets truth contraction or truth dilation. So it is necessary to use multivalued logic instead of binary logic. Okay, number one, f fact contraction occurs since observer is missing facts, hence he has more doubt than he should. The number of facts, it depends on the number of facts needed. As uh, page 43. Number two, thought, uh, thought dilation occurs since observer may, may be unable to pay attention to, for long enough time to grasp the argument object. The argument object may be too long. It has a short, he has a short attention span since others may have been able to follow it. Depends on number of inference rules needed. I, well, in fact, even some people have an attention deficit disorder syndrome. Number three, thought curvature. If argument object is too profound or too simple, an observer may experience distortion in thinking about that argument object, since he has to leave his natural coordinate system. It depends on complexity of facts and inference rules. C. Can you give exact numbers for these effects? Question mark. Uh, does having the exact formula matter? Question mark. So can you relate your F1, I1, C1 to another observer's F2, I2, C2? Question mark. Intellectual relativity. Objects are arguments, so list the classes of arguments and the classes of their components, i.e. facts and methods, and not every occurrence of them, so list of our types of arguments and super arguments and classes of facts. Also see the list of categories we thus created a, con a context or theory for all our methods and facts. Use analogy to physical objects which are made up of matter, of matter and forces. Intellectual relativity. Create the relativity theory of intellect for idea, objects, argument, world by analogy. Really, both man and God, psychology and theology, since many of facts and methods are common to both of them, but a higher genius has more in common. Einstein's GR theory is also an argument object, so how? So now have relativity of relativity. 
each person understands GR differently from his level of understanding. <coughs> Intellectual relativity. Can you pass <coughs> perceptual relativity since argument doesn't exist in the world but can be created in your mind and the mind of others or telepathy or prophecy? <coughs> Intellectual relativity and perceptual relativity. Existence is the key question whether a physicist, a psychologist, or a theologian or metaphysician is whether objects is you can see exist or not and whether you are aware of all objects that exist or you have overlooked some objects. <coughs> the, way, <coughs> the ways of proving existence is the, is the solution, but for intellectual relativity objects are arguments and the above may determine if they exist in the physical world but truly exist one mu to, tr to truly exist one must prove that their argument is correct so need list of all methods of correct proof and common errors to avoid and methods of proving that arguments are correct <coughs> super goal list the key questions and their answers in all PR, INR, WR, IMR, and ER. Key questions. Check your list of favorite titles. Add 2004 to 2005 titles also. Well, now you maybe have more titles till 2016. Classify them. Are there hundreds of titles really classes of axioms? If so, avoid the repetition. Super revolution. Okay. A new era. Clearly, see limits of Einstein's GR since we went far beyond it. Intellectual relativity. If Einstein created a whole perceptual relativity theory, then we created now a whole intellectual relativity theory using countless action methods, proofs of correctness, common errors to avoid and super methods, besides emotions, etc. Also, the proofs of existence are key for both since we want to know the whole universe. Even messages may ex exist in the world yet not yet detected method or existence of carrier wave. My mind is my own mind did say people will take his masterpiece, the guide of the perplex, each in a different way. Now in other words it's relative. And and also he said that you can study it for your whole life. Well I've been studying it for over thirty years. Intellectual relativity are the key axioms of all knowledge included in all the relativity theories question mark. After all, they include all our faculties. <coughs> intellectual relativity. My mind is used a special method to teach his intellectual system to different people at different intellectual diff levels or coordinate systems. The Maimonides super method my mind is superman includes contra contradicting himself, avoiding stating conclusion, but give only the premises needed, disperse the premises in the book, choose each word carefully, teach things suitable for different levels, use logical gimmicks to teach theories, use parables, tell reader that he should study his guide carefully, etc. Intellectual relativity. Are there basic facts and methods in intellectual world like have basic elements and forces in physical world? Question mark. That can't list them. Question mark. What Einstein did for perception, we did for intellect. Thinking he used mathematics, we used logic. Question mark. Or both mathematics and logic. But Einstein didn't prove that the world exists. So I have CPR and CIR, crea creation, perception, relativity, and creation, intelligence, relativity. Are you affecting the world instead of being affected by it? Assume argument comes with two axioms you need to reach conclusion. At each step of the argument and the inference rule is given in logic or mathematical operation needed. So you need to only verify that the rule is valid in the step. The argument can be one step or 100 steps long. The speed is the change in number of operations used with respect to time. The velocity vector and directions, uh, the velocity vector add directions since really argument is along a directed graph. Question mark. The acceleration is possible since sometimes the rate of applying operations is faster or slower due to the nature of operations. Down. Okay. 
Okay, okay, page 45, Beaton Notes, 2008, Einstein. Emotion, emotion relativity. Emotion relativity, add quotes about love from Olivia Newton-John interviews. Emotion relativity, I need to summarize my theory of love. It changes again and again over the past 20 years, answer all problems in Olivia systems uh, also or the last uh, 